Amicia! Amicia, you won't believe it! Roderick beats Arthur at the sling! That's not true! He was in front of the line! <laughs> You're just rubbish! <laughs> oh, you two are arguing again. Ugh! If you don't play by the rules... You're gonna tell me... Hugo! ...about rules. I keep telling Have you. Have you seen Hugo? Really? Really? You're joking. No one? Hugo! Hey! Hugo! You, Hugo! Hugo! Oh... He's... gone. Died to him. Hugo! Answer! Hugo! Gently now, gently. Four of them were up before me and not one kept an eye on my brother? Seriously. We need to have words. Don't stop. Go on. Hugo! Where? Can he have gone? Think, Amicia. Think. Anywhere, quite frankly. Is that a, a, a village? Here? Hey! Looks like the first wait. one. Wait! Did anyone see a child come through here? Please! Oh, Amicia! <gasps> Are you feeling better? It's a dream. How is the little one? Lovey? Is, is, is that you? Have you seen Hugo? Did you shout at him again? No, absolutely not. Times are hard enough already without you two arguing. But we weren't arguing anymore. Amicia, a child mm -hmm. never runs away without a reason. Open the door. I'm going to find him. All right, but be careful. Can I go under here? An ill wind is on its way, Amicia. His ragdoll. He never would have left it behind like this. Okay, that's creepy. A worn-out ragdoll given to Hugo by friends of the family. Since toys are not yet widely used in commerce, they are handmade by craftsmen, the servants of the wealthiest estates, or by parents themselves. She was lovely. I hope she's okay. I hope we see her again, to be honest. What is that? What is going on? Amicia, I've been waiting for you. Come with me. Laurentius? Is that really you? Where is Hugo? He... he's gone. <sighs> I knew this would happen. I did take care of him. Then why did he leave? I don't know. I I did everything I could to protect him. Even horrible things. It is easy to spill blood, but to love, to protect. I'm going to find him. Then go and pray there is still time. Mommy, <clears throat> I hear a noise outside. Hugo, that's him. Mother? Amicia, come here. Yes, Mother. I'm in trouble. Your brother's here. How is he? If he's back, it's because he's not very well. But I did everything. You hid the truth from him. Mm -hmm. But... His emotions, Amicia. I warned you. Let me see him. He doesn't want to see you. Who are you talking to, Mommy? I have to see him. He doesn't need you anymore. That's a lie. <sighs> Go on, then. See for yourself. Hugo, are you alright? No. 
What's the matter? Why did you leave? Why didn't you tell me Mummy was alive? It was for your own good, Hugo. That's not true. You didn't want me to know. Don't say that. You're jealous. Jealous. Let go of me. Jealous. Hugo, no! Why is she jealous? Hugo. Hugo. Where are you? You're in a cage again. I'm serious. It's him. You go. Let me go. He's there. Thank you. Stop shouting. Where's your sister? <laughs> it was you. You're not getting away this time. <laughs> I'm here. Everything's all right, Hugo. It's over. Is it? Are you alright? They didn't hurt you, did they? No. But why did you go off like that? I heard Mummy. She was calling me. Mm. It must have been a nightmare, that's all. I really thought it was her. She was in pain, and... She can't feel pain where she is now. We talked about this. But... She's gone, Hugo. You have to accept it. Let's go back. Alright. We must get back to the castle. to him did you learn nothing in what we just experienced <laughs> mommy i'm sure it's mommy what it's coming from over there we have to go no you're not going but why let go of me hugo i'm coming mommy come back Why no, did you go? There, she's in there. Why did he take his medallion though? Stop! It's not her. It is done. Can I go and see my mother now? Only the Grand Inquisitor may say. But you <laughs> told me. My words are of no importance. Only those of the Grand Inquisitor. Idiot. I don't care if he's a kid and he's but idiot. But be sure, you are very precious to him indeed. So they took a blood sample. I don't want to be Hugo now. He annoys me. I have to find mommy. I feel like Chucky if I'm being honest. <laughs> Hugo doesn't have any weapons if someone finds him. Oh. Stop. Four nights in a row, I 
I've been on Episangri's duty. When's it gonna end, eh? Soon. The hour of the conjuration approaches. People. But think of Vitalis. Your ordeal is nothing compared to his. Oops. What is he doing? Move. Interesting. That's handy. Oh, it's so big. Where's mummy? Hugo, you you're bugging me, mate. Gold unique. By breaking you, I clear your way. The way to the blood of the chosen one. Today's refining gone. The quality is excellent, but the mass of raw episanguis is decreasing. Our harvesters are being decimated by the rats. Do your best. The life of the Grand Inquisitor depends on the quality of the distillate. Honestly thought the alchemist had already been ended, to be honest. Uh, may I? Something moved. Nothing moved. Look. Don't make me do all of it again. That's oh, thank God. Hey, mate, can you move? Hi. I must see what it was. There's nothing there. No point continuing. I mustn't break anything. No breaking. The body of the Grand Inquisitor is overwhelmed by the bite. I fear it will now attack his mind. Don't worry. The boy's blood will everything restore the power's equilibrium. Careful, I mustn't break anything. Have look at no breaking. Sure. It will soon be necessary to change the filters and scrape the tanks. I'm concentrating so has. hard right now. We have almost reached the objective. I hope so. Because that's all we'll be able to produce. It's already a miracle that Vitali's body can take such quantities of Episanguis. His faith protects him. It protects us all. Hey! Not afraid! Not afraid! You're controlling the city during the conjuration. You on the list? Yeah. I'll be on the square in front of the cathedral. Oh, so you'll be right next to the Grand Inquisitor when he frees us. And I'll be stuck here. We'll all meet again. Goodbye. End of the bite. It's going to be quite a party. We have a problem. That was really risky.
Listen. Like Melly. To be fair, Melly didn't even see you because uh, she wasn't looking apparently. Okay, cool. But what, where am I going? No, I haven't. Where am I going? Where am I going? Seriously though, where am I going? <laughs> It's freaking sword. Line from this, I know it. Huh? I can't see what it is. Worked out well. <laughs> oh, that didn't. Oh, that it. Oh, that was close. That's enough. I demand to see Vitalis now. The Grand Inquisitor is very busy. Busy? I am the Archbishop. I represent the Pope. Monseigneur, the mission of the Grand Inquisitor is sacred. His mission? was never approved by the church. <laughs> I see here only heresy uh -oh. and occultism. And you, you all follow him on this infernal road. Measure your words. <gasps> My head. Shh, shut up. Shut up. <gasps> Madness. Mommy, where are you? What are you going to do when you find her, you child? <laughs> what are you going to do? Magister, the text clearly mentions the ascension of a child during the Great Plague of Justinian. I knew it. The Roman nobles isolated him from the people and worshipped him in secret. Maybe an ancestor of Hugo de Rune. Continue. They're talking about me. Where is he? Where is he? By freeing the country from the bite, the Grand Inquisitor will gain the adoration of the people, and with it, unprecedented political power. Archbishop Gautier's presence here says a lot. The Pope's court is worried, the prima macula, and so they should be. On the cusp of the first right, threshold, devours the lost carrier, or walks beside the one who tames it, master or slave, order or chaos. But how can we be sure? What is that? Beatrice de Rune's there, research sure. texts are all coded. I give up. I have some good news. They finally moved her to the basement. <gasps> so she's going to crack. About time. Mommy. Um. Beatrice de Rune's research texts are all coded. I give up. I have some good news. They finally moved her to the basement. So she's going to crack. About time. Mommy. You see, Amicia, I found Mommy. And what are you going to do when you finally get to her? 
I've asked that question. I'm still waiting an answer. <laughs> bit scared to see her, to be honest. I don't even want to know what they've done to her. She's in the basement, they said. I have to keep going down. Okay. Grand Inquisitor, Ugh. the Archbishop has arrived. Perfect. Bring him in. This isn't going to go well. <sighs> Vitalis. Monseigneur Gautier, I trust your journey went well. Now spare me your niceties. We grow tired of your little game, Vitalis. A game, Archbishop? <laughs> Can a game change the future of the world? Listen to yourself. You have completely lost your mind. And all this is... But if I may, it's important. We have the blood of Hugo de Rune. Have you tested it? Yes, alas, Monseigneur. The boy should have reached the first threshold already, but it seems something in his blood has slowed the process. The macula is still in its original state. No matter. If the books are correct, my blood and his will be bound. When he reaches the next threshold, I shall reach it with him. Proceed. Ugh. That's enough. You play the martyr. But allow me to tell you the truth. You are a vile heretic mm -hmm. driven mad by power. The Pope considers you a threat. Ooh. Vitalis Benevon. You are to be excommunicated. <sighs> Nice teeth. One can excommunate a man, Archbishop. <laughs> but not a saint. Your inquisition is over. Meaning that a new era commences. One where puppets such as yourself will kneel and beg me to save them. He is with us. See whether Beatrice Doreen has regained consciousness. <laughs> 